people, what are going on? This is Dean Jadine FF and I'm with the leader of the dark side in Scorp, you don't know, fully eight. Fully eight. <laughs> and today, me and Scorpion going and show Ola how to actually get the perfect Android set. Now this video is going to be in several chapters that you can easily press use in the description to see the different methods. You will need a PC for some of these settings and yes. Yeah. Alright people, so we're starting off with the basic settings, the basic Android settings that come with the phone itself. So when you go in your settings, press go scroll on until you see accessibility, press on interaction and we start off with touch and hold delay. Now basically the touch and hold delay is based on what you're comfortable with. So basically, I just use very short when I play in customs and medium when I play in rank. And the reason for this is because I just, when, you, when I play in rank, I just take my time and hit a headshot. It's easier to headshot men stand up still on medium than very short. And when men moving up, like in our customs, especially for the first, very short is the way to go. After you choose which one you're most comfortable with, I do not suggest long, I suggest medium when you're playing rank, and short or very short when you're playing customs. Right. Then after, you will go down, go back and search up, touch, and um, they have different touch sensitivities, like basically, the touch, this touch sensitivity will increase your sensitivity of the use of screen protectors. I just had this off because I find my screen has been moving a little too quick when I have that one, but you could always try it out. And for the for those of you who have a high end Android, I suggest using the um smooth refresh rate 120 hertz. It is always high screen spinning real quick if you're a person that love high settings. Then point uh, speed and this is where sensitivity just start to get very high so the pointer speed i will always have it on max and you see enhanced pointer precision if you take this off your screen will move real fast like very 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 fast but um taking it off i just take it off when i use an smg and i just put it on when i go and do one touch because the screen does be too fast for anybody to do one touch and i don't think some people will like high sensitivity for one tap. So one tap says I take more skill than SMG. King Scorpion will show you all the rest of the um settings. Alright. Alright, all so moving on to more developer option settings. But that real quick. Alright, so we go to develop options and we scroll long until you see Windows animations. Alright. So it has three different animation skills. You will see Windows animation skill, transition animation skill, and animator duration skill. Right? Now these three settings here I would suggest you either put it on 0.5 or you take it off, right? These three settings are increasing your sensitivity. So for all the men who like to spin up your screen real, real fast and you know you like a jello one, the and bus big glide backward glide. Spin up that screen like Ellie awesome, you know? And all the men like real speed. Um, inverted height on them kind of stuff. I would suggest either put it on 0.5 or you take off the animation skill for all. Right? So moving on to another setting here. So now we have Force for x MSA. So basically, this setting, it have advantages and disadvantages of using this setting, depending on the, if your device is an old device or if it's a new device, right? So basically, what the setting is do? It is increases sense, yes, sense, well, your yeah, FPS yes, by a little bit, and it is increasing your, um, your graphics also by a little bit. You would, you can test all these settings and go in your game and see the difference, right? But it is also consume a lot of battery. So if you know your battery is not good at all, you know your battery does run down real fast, and you can't take on when your battery running down fast, and then I wouldn't suggest you put on this setting at all. But you know if you want to play the game to the fullest potential i suggest you put it on you understand so yeah all right so for the galaxy users and them so if all they want some more fps or they find out they're not getting enough fps or they want to feel like all they're on a little 120 a little 144 and it's 240 frame per second we have some more settings for you and this settings is legal settings here you know it come with the phone so you don't have to worry about third party 
software ban and those kind of stuff like that. So first you go into the Galaxy Store, right? Right? So when you enter the Galaxy Store here now, you click on the search button. Hold on, you close off this. You click on the search button and you search for game plugins, right? If you do not have game plugins installed, install game plugins right now. I already have it installed, so I don't have to worry about it, right? Alright, so after you finish installing the app, you open and you will see these settings here right now with these additional settings. But today we're gonna be focused on the game booster plus settings, right? So you click on the game booster plus and you will see all the games that you have with the um with these settings that you could use, right? So we are going to free fire, right? Since I mainly play on free fire, then we're going to free fire. So you click in the um the button on the right where you see the three lines and the stroke here yeah. right and you will see different options you will see battery saving balance max fps high quality or custom custom is basically a neutral settings for everything to work with right but if you want more fps you click on max fps i mean right so you see the settings here you see changing the game performance settings will close all running games. so if a game is running in the background yeah um, your settings will change right and you click on change Two. all right so to be able to see the statistics here now right you want to see how it um improve when a game and the advantages and disadvantages you're going to click on the game free fire right and then you're going to slide your um slide up your screen this option right here and you will see the difference so you see the increases are your temperature you're getting max fps you know your graphics quality etc etc so if you want to figure out like how the, the other settings and them is going to change your, your hey, Ross, battery consumption and etc just click on the other settings and you will see you know if you want to see battery you put that to the maximum if you want to balance you know max fps yeah normal stuff oh yeah and another thing as well, your graphic quality. If you know you want to increase your graphic quality, you see in it saying here thirty percent, mine was on seventy five percent, right? Or you could put it at hundred percent, right? So yeah, if you want to increase graphics quality, you know you an editor and you like to edit videos and or maybe it's like them want the people and them who like to slow motion the videos and thing and they want videos to look top there, you can put your graphics quality as well on hundred percent. But you know, I like my max FPS, so yeah. I told you, pass it on the back to danger, then there. Guys, now I am going to show you now how to increase your DPI over 1440 and over 960. Now, if you have, if your max DPI is 960, it won't really work properly. I'm being honest, the most you will get is like a thousand DPI, a thousand and twenty. But if you have over 1440 DPI, or you could hold 1440 it will work real good you will get dpi up to 2400 to 3000 uh, etc depending on which resolution you um, have in your phone so basically before you do anything go in your settings go back down to developer options and make sure this one the um the usb debugging make sure the make sure i activate this and then you go into this website right here you go into this website right here the link for the website will be in the description now. you scroll along on the website until you see download minimal adb and fast boot tool you download in the first one right uh, assuming everybody know how to download something off the google if you don't know just google it when you download it you will get this this thing right here you double tap you double tap it and um this thing will pop up now i know this looking confusing but it's real simple you're basically using one command right here you could copy it in the description it will be in the description also so basically the numbers the number 1300 and 33 by 3000 is my screen resolution right so the basically if it increases screen resolution a higher resolution you will get more dpi now this is the resolution for 1733 dpi so if i if i increase if i plug on my phone right i don't want to plug on my phone now because my child has a short on thing right your default screen resolution 
For most phones with 1440 DPI is 1080 by 2400, right? Now, this is 1440 DPI you're watching here. So if you increase it, there's maybe 1100 by, let me just say, 3000. This might be 1600 DPI, but I recommend for the people that have 1440 DPI, use 13, 1, 3, 3, 3 by 3000. Right, this is 1700 DPI. Now, the reason why I don't want to increase it further is because your screen will be so small and so chunky that you won't even be able to load up the game properly for some phones. And for the, for the people that have 960 DPI, right, I recommend using a thousand X1500. Like I said, it wouldn't really work too good since your screen resolution in your phone port. And then you press enter. When you press enter now, it will, it will mark up a command that it was successfully entered and so on. Right? But it obviously never worked because my phone not plugged into the computer. Right? Now when you do this, right? You see the little chip up here in my screen? I'll go zoom it in. You see the little chip up here? That is how your phone go look. But to me, that is small thing because, you know, more, more DPI will always be beneficial. You go in your settings. Developer options, right? And let me just see if it works. 1700 to teach you. Now, I know it's real small, but you could clearly see it increases 17 to 34 dp. All right, all there. So, for the final part of this video, we will have the final setting DP RAM login. Now, in order to get this. You will go to your phone which what is going to call somebody, right? So you click here, this is the code star phone sign nine nine zero zero phone sign and it will automatically open this right. So as you guys can see, CP RAM login is already open, right? So you click on CP RAM login and you click OK, it will automatically restart the device, right? So what this is basically do to me. It is giving me a lot more FPS and it is increasing sensitivity like by a lot. It is making it feel like PC system. Now, this is for really for the people and them who like speed and like input wall and all them fancy things. This is for all them. The sensitivity is very high and I will try side by side comparison with me using my normal DPI and me putting this on. I will show a side by side comparison of how. He says it's a by Never vision be a mission. So you better listen. I'ma end up winning every game, every in and every word that I'm spinning. Finally got them all living every dream, every image. They can see it now and get it. This is just the beginning. Trust me a minute. I can show you the ticket. If you want it, then go get it. Take a swing, yeah, hit it. That's right, don't forget it. Always winning, never quit. Spin five for a living. <laughs> On the hotel floor, gotta face my past for I end up in your arms. In your arms, I write my thoughts on an empty page, but no matter what I do, I still feel the same in your arms. In your arms, no scorpion say it was the final sentence of the video, blah blah blah, but we was missing out one more thing. You're missing out an Android macro. So basically, you go in your settings, you go in accessibility, you go in interactions, and you press universal switch. When you press that, press settings, and you're going to copy everything I have here except the top and actions. So this is completely up to you. So basically, your sensitivity will be normal. But as soon as you swipe up your shoot button is when this sensitivity does um, apply so your yeah, sensitivity could be default dpi and once you swipe up with your shoot button it will feel like 2400 i'm telling you so this is completely up to y'all right and you could try it out in different ways 
like basically it won't really fight against the um the emasses the game the built-in emasses in the game but it could either hit plenty headshots go overhead or hit that all right that's the thing about it it is barely for really it is hit either um mixing headshots and body shots but you know it all is good to try out and see which one works for you now i personally find it, it does work real good but you could try it out for yourself you could lower it you could increase it you know you could even take it off all right guys well this like this brings us to the end of the settings video i hope all you could share it and tell your partner your friends your family your dog your kitten your parrot whoever and i hope all you could find a real good android settings i'll see you all there next time